Hey folks, my guest today is David Pullman. He is building Bill B, order and inventory management for multi-channel e-commerce companies. David, you ready to take us to the top? Yes, I am. Thank you. All right. You're in a very hot space. How are you sort of defining your niche and trying to monopolize? Yeah. Um, actually, I think at the moment, or especially in the last couple of months during COVID and so on, um, this, this space and this niche has, yeah, a lot of momentum, I think, and especially in, in Europe with some yeah bigger acquisitions and bigger um, venture capital investments. Name, name, name a couple of those, just so everyone has contact. Um, yeah, one I have in mind is Central, um, which is a yeah a, a German yeah ERP system, would say for for order inventory of e-commerce and um, Sequoia joined or uh, yeah went into them uh, last year, and this was kind of a um, big announcement for the European and especially German tech scene, I think. And yeah, this is kind of the space where we are in. And um, yeah, especially with all the marketplaces coming up and with Shopify and uh, different cloud job systems coming up. Um, yeah, seems to be a very interesting space though. <laughs> However, I think uh, we got the niche that we focus very small and medium-sized um, businesses and try to target the flop 90%, would say, and not the top 10%. So yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> And when you came on back in December last year, I love that you were bootstrapped. You said that you had, you know, over 9,000 customers, which is a big number. They're paying on average 10, you know, 15 to $20 per month, right? So I think you were around a two or two and a half million dollar run rate, right? Yeah, that was back in December. I think the numbers were from September or so, yeah. And so today, how many customers are you working with? Um, we are at around 12K customers. That's great. So how did you get an additional 3,000 customers over the past six months? Um, we have a very high sign-up rate. It's around yeah, 1.5 to 2K a month. And we somehow managed to turn at least 25 to 30% of them into paying customers. And churn is comparably low. So yeah, that's why. Break that down for me. So last month, between 1,500 and 2,000 new signups at your platform, what do they have to do? Like, What's the funnel look like? Um, we do not have any direct sales, so they really come to Bilby through word of mouth marketing and through partners. So we are listed in the Shopify App Store and Marketplaces App Stores and partner pages. So this is our main traffic source. And especially the e-commerce community is very big and very connected in Germany. So everyone yeah, yeah, talks to each other and, and uh, gives the names of, of uh, tools they like. And yeah, that's, that's how we get the most signups, I think. And we have a very high conversion rate from, from visitor to, to sign up and also a very high rate, as I said, from, from uh, trial to paid. So, um, yeah, that's, that's the way it works at the moment. You have, 47, you have 47 reviews on Shopify and an average rating of about 3.6. Um, how many new leads each month do you guys get from Shopify, would you say? I would say it's maybe 15% of the total. Okay, so a 200 to 300 signups a month yeah, uh, trials about, from Bill B. Roundabout, exactly, yeah. And tw so then 25% of that is 20 to 40 new customers from Shopify each month, something like that. Yeah, yeah. But the majority, so really the biggest part is um, organic SEO and organic uh, word of mouth traffic, yeah. Okay, the organic SEO terms, what sort of terms have you been optimizing for? Typical German buzzwords, so German terms for, for inventory management, order management invoicing, e-commerce invoicing, invoice creation, bill creation, all these kind of stuff. And do you require a credit card on the trial or no? No, it's uh, email and password only. Okay. And what do you know you have to, have to do during the trial period to get them to convert to paid at the end? How long is that trial period? Trial period is 30 days. Um, and but, but, but I think the majority who is um, or, yeah, who's able to work with Bilby and is productive with Bilby within the first five days this is the, the most interesting group. So we've, we've always thought to cut the trial to 10 or five days or so. And I think this might be enough because if you haven't get the benefit. You've done that, the sorry. The first, Have you actually done that or no? No, we haven't. We're, we're thinking about it and maybe doing it in the, yeah, in the near future. Because I think if, you, if you're not used to Bilby within the first yeah, five days or so, you won't probably get used to it in the first 30 days. So. That's a good, I mean, that's, I think that's an astute observation. Now, what do you know people have to do during the trial to drastically increase the likelihood they can work to pay at the end of the trial? Is it a JavaScript embed? Is it a number of product sales? What is it? 
Um, I think it, once they connect the marketplace or shop, wherever they sell the e-commerce stuff, I think once they connect this, this is uh, the trigger point. So if the orders flow into Bulby and they see how easy it works, how easy they, they can create invoices, how easy they can create shipping labels and so on. So I th really think the trigger point is connecting any third-party application to Bulby, being at a marketplace, being at an e-commerce store or so, yeah. And have you started really developing additional products to upsell your 12,000 customers or is your ARPU still about 17 bucks a customer? Um, actually, we have um, some more simplified pricing. However, we have increased ARPU through this. So we are at around 32 at the moment. $32 um, ARPU. Yeah. That's, a, that's, a, that's, almost, that's almost doubled over the past seven months. Yes. How did you do that? Um, on the one hand, the customers were growing through maybe COVID and, and uh, Christmas and, and holiday season and so, but also we have a yeah, dramatic shift of our pricing strategy. So beforehand we had different modules, so you could have a very few modules and you could have more modules and you could have premium support and so on. And now we have completely simplified this. So we have only one pay-per-use pricing, which is 100% based on the number of orders you have. And this ranges from one euro with uh, zero orders to 499 euro with yeah unlimited orders let's say it's impressive but it's it's, it's um, logarithmic so uh, if you have fewer orders you pay more per order and if you have a lot of orders you pay less per order and so with all that strategy and the change you've implemented what was monthly recurring revenue last month we had um, in june 385k that is so impressive. I mean, the amount that you've added since just December is, is I mean, that's all you've almost added. I mean, you almost added 200,000 a new MRR, 2.4 million yeah. a new AR run rate in about nine yeah. months. Yeah. Are you still bootstrapped? Yes, we are. I mean, I imagine you're getting all kinds of inbound. What's the highest valuation a VC has thrown in front of you? Actually, we haven't seen any number for this so far. <laughs> And um, to be honest, I, tomorrow I have a first call where we, yeah, maybe hear a number for it, a valuation for it, but we haven't really, to be honest, we haven't heard any numbers so far. So what would you value the business? Uh, we, we, what would we, you, we all... <laughs> what's a range that you would set? I mean, what do you think it's worth on the high end? I don't know. I, I mean, we are very profitable. So we had in 2020, we have an EBITDA of around 700K. And at the moment, we are at yeah at least 100 to 150k per month, EBIT. So, um, yeah. To be honest, I think if you if you find the right seller, it might be something between 30 or at the 30s range or so. Yes. But um, yeah, at the moment, there are no specific plans to to sell or to do so. But yeah, let's see. I hope you don't undersell yourself. 30 million to me seems actually very conservative considering how profitable you are and how fast you're growing. I bet you if you run a true process, you probably end up closer to between like 40 and 60. But that's if you want to go the VC route. You're killing it. We're not going that route, right? I mean, you remind me a lot of, of Jan and, uh, and Shipmunk and how he grew and did secondaries yeah, yeah, and yeah. took payouts. Are you the only founder or do you have co-founders? Um, actually, I'm the first employee. So we'll be ah. single founded by our... By, by the founder Jan and, and CTO. And yeah, I, I was a first employee and did the, the revenue part and ops part. So, and yeah. you have some equity at least? VSO. Okay, so you have some upside. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. And what's the team size today? How many people? Um, we are 30. 30. How many engineers? Um, 10. And what's churn look like? Um, it's less than 1% per month. And expansion so we had gone through so the we roof, had, right? We, we, we had a little more uh, churn when we when we had the pricing switch, but um, yeah, it's three months month ago, and now we had uh, below one percent again. And your expansion revenues increased drastically because of your ARPU expansion, right? Yes, it is. So yeah, I don't know. I'm have have the actual actual number, but yeah, it's it's huge, of course. <laughs> this is very exciting, David. Let's wrap up with the famous five. Number one favorite book. I'm still scaling up. You're consistent. I like that. Number two, is there a CEO you're following or studying? Yes, there's still uh, Guillaume from, from Lemlist. <laughs> still Guillaume. Uh, number three, what's your favorite online tool for building a business? Um, to be honest, still finding out. So we are at your moment looking at Asana and um, ClickUp for a, yep. yeah, for a, for a project management tool. Yeah. Number four, how many hours of sleep do you get every night? Um, eight, would say. And what's your situation? Uh, still, still, uh, st uh, hopefully, still married with a kiddo. 
Um, yes, two now. Two kids now. Two oh, kids. that's yeah. exciting. Happy, happy, congratulations on the new one. Thank you. <laughs> are you still 29, David, or are you 30? Um, I'm 30. Yeah. 30 years old. Last question. Something you wish you knew when you were 20? Um, maybe more about personal finances. Guys, very hot space. Bill B. You wouldn't believe how fast they're growing. Bootstrap. They're doing about $180,000 a month just nine or 10 months ago. They're now doing $380,000 per month in revenue. So from a $2 million to a $4.5 million run rate in under, call it eight months. Obviously, a lot of people want to invest. They've said no because they're profitable. They take 150 grand to the bottom line every single month. So very profitable. Team of 30 people. Valuation, I think, is much north, you know, north of 30 million, but we'll see what happens there. They've got calls coming up, churn and net dollar retention continues to get better as customers pay them more and more for additional products. David, thanks for taking us to the top. Thank you, Nathan. One more thing before you go. We have a brand new show every Thursday at 1 p.m. Central. It's called Shark Tank for SaaS. We call it Deal or Bust. One founder comes on, three hungry buyers, they try and do a deal live and the founder shares back-end dashboards, their expenses, their revenue, ARPU, CAC, LTV, you name it, they share it. And the buyers try and make a deal live. It is fun to watch every Thursday, 1 p.m. Central. Additionally, remember, these recorded founder interviews go live. We release them here on YouTube every day at 2 p.m. Central. To make sure you don't miss any of that, make sure you click the subscribe button below here on YouTube, the big red button, and then click the little bell notification to make sure you get notifications when we do go live. I wouldn't want you to miss breaking news in the SaaS world, whether it's an acquisition, a big fundraise, a big sale, a big profitability statement, or something else. I don't want you to miss it. Additionally, if you want to take this conversation deeper and further, we have by far the largest private Slack community for B2B SaaS founders. You want to get in there. We've probably talked about your tool if you're running a company or your firm if you're investing. You can go in there and quickly search and see what people are saying. Sign up for that at NathanLacka.com forward slash Slack. In the meantime, I'm hanging out with you here on YouTube. I'll be in the comments for the next 30 minutes. Feel free to let me know what you thought about this episode. And if you enjoyed it, click the thumbs up. We get a lot of haters that are mad at how aggressive I am on these shows, but I do it so that we can all learn. We have to counter those people. We got to push them away. Click the thumbs up below to counter them and know that I appreciate your guys' support. All right. I'll be in the comments. See ya.